Hi guys, Larry here, and I have a brand new product from the folks at Canon. I'm sure you've already guessed by looking that it's a speed light, but that's just the beginning. It's the flagship flash unit and an impressive step up from the popular 580EX2 speed light. And it incorporates all kinds of state-of-the-art improvements in portable, battery-powered flash. To begin with, the Canon Speedlight 600EXRT uses ETTL2 technology, which is compatible with most Canon DSLRs released since 2004. The acronym actually stands for Evaluative Through the Lens Exposure Metering and it's an impressive system that sends a series of low power pre-flashes which the camera measures to determine exposure for the actual image. Additionally, the Canon Speedlight 600 EXRT is compatible with EOS SLRs, both digital and film, and it can be directed to zoom in order to match the camera's sensor, whether it's a full frame sensor, APS-H or APS-C. The RT in the name of this speedlight indicates that it's equipped with a wireless firing function that uses traditional Canon speedlight optical transmission or in situations when line of sight transmission is impossible, the Canon speedlight 600 EXRT can send radio signals instead. It can send signals among up to five groups of flashes for control of as many as 15 different speedlights. In working with this flash for just a little while, I can tell you that it's easy to configure the flash and I figured out most of the functionality before I even open the manual. Now that says a lot about the menu system and controls on the back of this unit. It's very simple to set the master and slave configurations, adjust the power, adjust zoom, select an appropriate radio frequency, and more. As somebody who shoots with optically triggered wireless flash systems, I can tell you that it's great to have the radio option built in for those times that line of sight setup just doesn't work. The radio transmission works up to 30 meters away, which is over 98 feet. And it will work through physical obstructions using a 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Keep in mind though, using the ETTL metering system in combination with the new wireless radio system will only work on cameras released since 2012. And if you have one of these newer cameras, each flash group you control can fire under a different flash mode, like manual, ETTL, or auto external flash. The zoom capability of the Canon Speedlight 600 XRT is really impressive, covering from 20 to 200 millimeters, and you can even cover as wide as 14 millimeters with the extended wide panel pulled out. The specs of this new Speedlight are pretty impressive, beginning with the improved guide number of 197 feet at ISO 100. The recycle time of this light is from 0.1 to 5.5 seconds in normal mode. And if you're in quick flash mode, the range improves from 0.1 to 3.3 seconds. One of the thoughtful features you don't always expect from a speed light is that it has an autofocus assist beam to help with the autofocus function in dark and low contrast situations. And of course, this is completely compatible with Canon's new 61 point autofocus system found on the 1DX and the 5D Mark III. Of course, for bouncing the flash, you can swivel the head 180 degrees either direction and tilt it 90 degrees upwards. If you're like me, when you learn of all the capabilities and setting options of this impressive new speed light, you'll probably find you'll be using some of the features and functions much more than others. What's nice is that there's 18 custom functions and seven personal functions that you can set to personalize this unit. Custom functions include things like flash exposure bracketing, modeling flash, and power or energy saving features. I mentioned modeling flash is one of the options, and it's one that I find especially impressive, but unfortunately, it just doesn't translate well to video. So I can explain it to you, but you have to see it in person to really appreciate this feature. We don't usually think of a speed light as having a modeling light, but with a compatible camera, you can just press the depth of field preview button and the speed light will rapidly strobe low level light pulses so that you can see what the light is gonna look like during your setup. Now I already mentioned that the Canon Speedlight 600 XRT is relatively easy to figure out before opening the manual. And that's because of the upgraded LCD screen, which displays the additional detailed information on flash status and settings as well as the wireless configuration. No matter what speed light you've worked with in the past, I'm sure you'll find that working with this speed light is really straightforward. And even with the improved features and functions, 
Canon has also improved the durability over its predecessor with a redesigned hot shoe contact for more reliable communications with the camera. And all of the moving parts are sealed for better water and dust resistance. The Canon Speedlight 600 EXRT uses four AA batteries, which can be alkaline, lithium, or nickel metal hydride. Or you can attach an optional CPE4, which is an eight battery pack, which will give you longer life and faster recycle time. Another accessory that's worth considering is the OC-E3, which is a hot shoe cable that lets you move your speed light off camera up to three feet away while still triggering the speed light via the hot shoe. The Canon Speedlight 600 EXRT comes with a mini stand, a low and high density tungsten filter, a filter holder, and a couple of different cases. This is a state-of-the-art speed light that has radio and optical triggers, master and slave capabilities, a 14 to 200 millimeter range, great power, and recycle times, and it's from the folks at Canon. This is the new Canon Speedlight 600 EXRT, and I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.